What's going on guys? Jason here from Poor Man's Preparing and in this video we're going to check out the August 2017 box from a pocket box. So let's get started. Alright, before we get going too far, I want to say if you're not familiar with Apaka Box, they are a bi-monthly subscription service which they send you a box every other month. Um, this is the August box. It's called the Bushcraft Dump Pouch, which should give you a hint of something that's in this box. But uh, the price on these is around 50 bucks plus shipping, so it's, uh, really, it's pretty affordable and they have some very unique items that you will not find anywhere else. So let's go ahead and check out this one, the Bushcraft Dump Pouch. Alright, and the first item up here is the Bushcraft Dump Pouch. And it says a little bit about it. I, Creek Stewart, have always loved using a belt dump pouch in the woods. They are perfect for keeping frequently used items handy as well as a great place to stow away forged resources, such as tinder and wild edibles. And he says, after many years, he decided to design his own, and he included it in this box. Mm. It's made from water-resistant waxed canvas, so that's pretty cool. And it's durable and resilient. It's larger than your average dump pouch and has drawstring closure, as well as several interior pockets to organize small stuff. Let's look at that then. All right, first up, you see this large pocket in front. Good for a phone or a wallet. Got this little loop here. That's a really big pouch. You see it expands open to fit a lot of stuff in there. There's the drawstring closure. Bam. Keep everything in. Keep them falling out. Let's see if we can look inside of it. Alright. If you can see that, it's got a couple places for a pen, pencil. Uh, you can probably put a pocket knife up in here some other small stuff and a big large pocket to dump uh, you know edibles tinder whatever you want to throw in there and something pretty cool is this goes right on your belt so you can have this little pouch on you kind of like a fanny pack I guess but a lot cooler of course bushcraft style so that's pretty cool I really like this item well made and you could pack one heck of a kit in there really I'll have to do that in the future. It's, it's like a bucket, pretty much. It's pretty cool. I've never had one, so I'm real excited to get that. And it's really cool that the canvas is water resistant as well, so it'll stay dry. All right, the next item up is a hand carved bone feather. It says this is made from buffalo bone. And it says there's a bunch of uses. It's got two little holes here. I'm not real sure what that's for. Let's see. It said something about using it as a thimble to make repairs to his gear so that's probably what that's for you I'm sure you could push the string through something then pull it out the other side don't really know I've never really sewn or repaired stuff like that but it also says that it worked great for removing uh, the hide from the carcass when processing game in the wild and for processing plant fiber cordage by using it to remove the chaff and pith from fibers. I'm not real sure what all that means honestly. I'm not going to pretend I do. But he, you know, he says there's all kinds of uses for it. It's made from buffalo bone, which is kind of neat. A little feather. Pretty decorative too. Maybe you could use those holes to maybe hang it on your neck or something. Like a little ornament. Pretty neat. Now I'll, I'll have to check out more uses for it. But it is very neat. Alright, the next item up is this 100% beeswax bar. And a little bit about it says, It's hard to nail down a specific reason as to why I chose to include this 100% natural beeswax bar in this bushcraft theme box, as there are literally countless uses for beeswax, from medicinal to practical, i.e. gear repair. And here's a few that came to his mind, which there are a ton. Beeswax can be used, uh, to, utilized as a flame extender by mixing it with natural tinder. It can be used to tame natural fibers from plants to, and trees, making them more manageable to work with. Uh, in addition of a wick, in the addition of a wick can turn this bar into an excellent candle or lamp. 
and you can seal seams on your boots packs and your dump pouch and a ton more uses that I won't go over and it comes with this pretty nifty little bag here so you just toss it in there and have it good to go beeswax is good stuff there's all kinds of uses and you can just toss it in your bag with the rest of the stuff alright and the next item up is pretty unique it is a knife and usually when you get a knife or a tool in a pocket box it's something very unique and this one's no different this is called the whiskey burr and that uh, and it's a little bit about it it says meet our newest addition to the whiskey knife line the whiskey burr though short and stout it is mighty and perfectly designed as well as handcrafted to tackle any task too difficult for a bigger blade hey you might even you might even be surprised at some of the big tasks this knife can take on with ease. This knife was hand forged from start to finish just for you. It doesn't get any more unique than this. And that's one thing I really love about a pocket box is you won't find this stuff anywhere else except for um, you can go to you can buy this stuff from Creek himself, who's the maker of a pocket box. But other than that, you won't find it anywhere else. Uh, my initial thoughts on this knife were. You know this little hump right here it's kind of weird I'm not sure what it's for but it's not too difficult or it's not too uncomfortable to hold in the hand to do a small task like that or you can hold it back here and get a good grip on it too I don't know I don't the hole I'm not sure what it's for maybe just to make it lighter but it has a leather sheath you can uh, put some paracord on it make it a neck knife so it's pretty cool definitely unique and you can tell when things are made by hand you know it's not going to be perfect and I think I think today a lot of people do expect just everything to be perfect and I, I really I really think that uh, you know stuff like this it, it uh, well, how do you say it I'm sorry I'm having a hard time uh, I think this really gives it character there we go that's the word I'm looking for character because the odds are there won't be another sheath that looks just like this one you know the staples won't be in the same spot the knife probably won't you know be exactly exactly the same weight or the same design and it's got Creek's little logo on there which is pretty cool so it's a pretty neat knife alright next up we get four sharpening bricks the other three are right here but basically it's a little ceramic sharpening brick and it says it's the perfect lightweight solution for putting a nice edge on your whiskey bar while using it in the field. You can throw it on your shoelaces. Uh, if you're going to make this a neck knife, you can include it on there somehow. So it's pretty cool. Um, on the paperwork here that it comes with, it says um, it came from his fascination as a child watching his great uncle sharpen a knife on the bottom of a ceramic coffee cup. And his exact comment was, it's not quite as good as a whetstone, but it will do in a pinch. So that's really cool and important. And it comes with directions to show you how to use it and all that good stuff. So pretty cool. And you get four of them. So you could put these with your favorite knives, put them on each boot, two pairs of boots, whatever you want to do. So pretty neat item. All right, next up we get this survival trout line kit. Trout line, however you say it. Um, it has 150 feet of main line, 160 pound test, 20 size 2 watt wire hooks, and easily assemble assembly directions inside. Note, hooks are located inside the tube. So in, instead of being on a regular spool, it has a tube which is filled with some hooks and stuff. So let's open it up and see what's in it. Alright, we'll just use the whiskey burr here. Pretty sharp knife. Open up this plastic. Let's see if there's any instructions. There we go. See, a pocket box always has detailed instructions for everything, too. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> Just shows you how to set up the trot line. All right. Let's see if we take this thing off. It's got a good seal on it, so everything won't come out. There we go. We'll just dump it out here. Hopefully, you can see it. All right, we got one bag in there, and it's got what does it say? 20 hooks, 
20 hooks. This this is a good size for catching pretty much anything. Bluegill, they have pretty big mouths even for being so small. Catfish, bass. This will work for just about anything. Probably a snapping turtle as well. So pretty cool little kit. I'll just leave that shut. Don't know why I opened it. And you could always there's a, there's plenty of room in here to stuff some more things in there. So that's a pretty neat little tool. I like that. You can't have too much line anyway. This is good stuff too. Bank line. Definitely good. I like it. I like it. All right, and lastly in this bushcraft dump pouch from a pocket box and included in every box is a skills challenge. And this one they want you to make a limb line set. Uh, you can follow the directions here. Let's see, fish don't care. The hooks are five feet apart or four feet apart. So don't spend too much time trying to get the drops exactly five feet. Some states have regulations on putting the hooks closer than four feet. So you may want to check your local wildlife agent about this and other trout line regulations. And then it tells you just step by step on how to set up your trout line. And this is your skills challenge for this month which is a very useful skill. Um, actually, I have an uncle, he does something similar. He sets limb lines a lot, to cat, and he catches a lot of catfish. So, and then this is basically the same thing, except you're going all the way across the body of water instead of just hanging it from one tree. Like you're tying it from one tree, going all the way across the water to the other bank and tying it to another tree. So it's similar to limb lining, and it's just as effective, but you'll catch a lot more fish like this. So that's pretty cool. Oh, look, here we go. Speaking of limb line, it's got a couple different methods for uh, fishing here. Right here, it shows the trout line, which, like I said, goes from bank to bank and get all them hooks there. A bank line is just attached at one point and goes down to the bottom of the water. A jug, I used to set these all the time, which you just have a jug that floats, and then you put your hook and stuff on the bottom, and it'll just kind of float midstream, and you, and you know you can see that thing bobbing up and down when something's on there. A drop line, I've never heard of that. Let's see, is it the, the exact same thing as a trot line, except it's set vertically instead of horizontally. So it's kind of like the jug line, but you have multiple uh, hooks on there. And lastly, here is the limb line where you just, the limb is your pole and you just tie it off and bam, you're good to go. It's not really like a trot line, but you're still using a tree and the line, so it's similar. And uh, it, all these methods work. I've never tried the drop line, but the rest of them definitely work. All right, so that is this month's Apaka Box, the Bushcraft Dump Kit. Uh, it's pretty cool. I really like the bag. The knife is well made. It's high carbon steel. I don't think I said that. But you know, you can throw everything all in this pouch. You got plenty of room for more. It's barely taking up anything. Um, it's just, a pocket box is really unique. I, I say that every time because they, they really are. Uh, there's nothing really new to add to that. If you've seen my other videos, um, not all of them have been super great, but this one I really like. So definitely get a thumbs up two thumbs up from me on this one so pretty cool keep up the work creek um, creek also has something new coming up called the survival skill of the month club which pretty much self-explanatory if you want to check it out more go to survival of the month.com for those who crave knowledge but that's it guys let me know what you think about the apaka box and this video we're a little blurry here but yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments below. And if you want to check them out, you can go to myapocketbox.com. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to give it a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more. And remember, be ready.